Finding Money Keywords, Google Keyword Planner. Now it's time to look for some keywords. Well, maybe you're asking yourself, why do you need to look for keywords? Why don't we just start promoting the awesome affiliate offers we just picked? Let me explain to you why. Let's see what Google has to say about what a keyword is. According to Wikipedia, there are several ways to explain what a keyword is, but I guess they forgot to include the marketing aspect of a keyword. In marketing, a keyword is a word or phrase used by a group of people to search for something that may satisfy their interests, wants, and needs. In marketing, a product is anything that can be offered to that group of people that might satisfy those interests, wants, or needs. That means a keyword is the key used in order to connect that group of people to a product or service which may satisfy those interests, wants, or needs. Now, here is where you come into play. What you'll do is research those keywords people are using to perform their searches, use those same exact keywords to optimize your video advertising campaigns, and finally, connect those people to the product which will satisfy their needs, but with the awesome benefit of giving you a commission for each sale made in the connection process. It's as simple as that. Okay, now comes the question. How in the world will you know what people are searching for on the web and how often? The answer is right in front of your eyes. Google.com. Yeah, if you didn't know, Google stores every single search made by anyone that performs a search when using Google.com throughout the whole world. They have an awesome free tool available to everyone called the Keyword Planner. To go straight to the tool, just type Google Keyword Planner and you'll have it right there in the top position. With this awesome tool, you can search for a keyword and add group ideas, get historical stats, see how a list of keywords might perform, and even create a new keyword list by multiplying several lists of keywords together. The Google Keyword Planner actually is a tool created for the paid Google advertising program called Google AdWords, which in simple words, is the program that puts the ads you see around the search results pages after you perform a Google search. Those historical statistics, group ideas, and lists of keywords are what we are looking for to build our bigwig video advertising campaign. You'll need to have a Google account in order to have access to the tool. Google accounts are free. There are all kinds of awesome things you can search for with the Keyword Planner. But to make things simple, just performing a simple search is enough to start. You can see an awesome bank of keywords used by millions of people every day who use Google to find answers to their interests, wants, or needs. You can see they are organized by group, but you can also see them listed all together. Also, all this data is pure gold. On the Keyword column, You'll see all kinds of keyword ideas you can use to advertise affiliate products. The average monthly searches is the average number of times people have searched for this exact keyword on a monthly basis. The competition is the number of advertisers that show on each keyword relative to all keywords across Google, inside the Google AdWords program. This is an extremely important indicator for a money keyword. The higher, the better. The suggested bid is the estimated costs per click, CPC, that advertisers are paying for a keyword inside the Google AdWords program. This is another extremely important indicator for a money keyword. The higher, the better. This is the process everybody uses to search for keywords to promote affiliate offers. What you need to do is research for keywords directly related to the affiliate product you are about to promote. For example, with ClickBank, you can grab the affiliate link and paste it on your web browser and hit enter. What you'll do is grab the domain name of the sales page of the affiliate product you are about to promote. Go back to the Keyword Planner, delete the keyword, and paste the domain. Then click on Get Ideas. You'll now see keywords directly related to the affiliate product you plan to promote, so you are in front of a more targeted list of keyword ideas to use. Sort the keywords by average monthly searches from high to low. We advise you to add all the keywords that reflect a specific need to the right and not just general topics. Normally keywords with more than three words works the best. Just use common sense here. This is something software can't do for you. Add keywords that people are actually looking to resolve an important need or concern. Another awesome way to look for keywords is by using the title of the product. Sometimes it's hard to find keywords related to the name of the product, but you still need to give it a try. This time, you'll use a keyword option. Click on Keyword Options. Change to On, where it says Only Show Ideas Closely Related to My Search Term, and click on Save. In this case, 
I didn't find any keywords related to my product title. Maybe you have heard that Google doesn't have the perfect keyword tool. That is because they hide information from you. And I will show you why. Right now, let me show you a really cool advanced trick to find Google keyword ideas in a different way. Go to keywordtool.io. Type the title of the product, pick the Google country, pick the language, and click on the orange magnifying glass. Awesome. We have found several keywords that Google didn't want to show us. Click on the red button called Copy All. Let's go back to the Google Keyword Planner. Click on Modify Search. Then click on Get Search Volume Data and Trends. Paste the new keywords and click on Get Search Volume. Now you see how to make Google give you more keyword ideas. Add them to the right by clicking on Add All. Finally, let's download this file so we can give it some thought in the coming video. Make sure the historical statistics is selected. We advise you to download the Excel CSV version for better handling. That was some technical training, but really fun, don't you think? In the following video, I will tell you what to do with all those keywords.